Okay, let's take a look at problem 2-33. This one's about determining the effect of adjusting entries on the accounting equation. Okay, so what does it tell us? Well, it tells us that each of the following independent events requires a year-end adjusting entry. Show how each event and its related adjusting entry affect the accounting equation. Assume a December 31st closing date. And the first event is recorded as an example. So here's the first one. To the left of my mouse here, you can sort of see it moving. Uh, they paid 6400 cash in advance on October 1st for a one-year insurance policy. So they had $6,400 cash decreased and other assets increased. Well, what would the other assets be? Well, the other assets would be the prepaid insurance policy, right? If we pay cash in advance for an insurance policy, that insurance policy represents an asset to us because it has future economic value until it's used up. And we need an adjusting entry at the end of the year of $1,600. Okay, now I moved a scratch pad calculator in front of you so you can see how we come up with that $1,600. We paid $6,400. That was the payment. If we divide that by 12, what we determine is that prepaid insurance is being used up at a rate of $533.33 per month. Well, we purchased this on October, right? So we've got October. November and December. That's three months. So we would have used up $1,599.99. Now rounding that to whole dollars, that's $1,600. And that's why we have an adjustment of $1,600. Well, why is it a negative adjustment? Because we no longer have $6,400 value of an asset of prepaid insurance. We have 6400 less 1600 available so we've got to reduce it by 1600 by the end of the year and what we would do is we would recognize 1600 as an insurance and expense and an insurance expense all expenses reduce retained earnings which is a component of stockholders equity and that's why it's shown over here okay let's look at D now I'm gonna have you work B and C together, or B and C on your own, and item D is what we'll take a look at and work here. So item D says, paid 11520 cash in advance on August 1st for a one-year lease on office space. All right, well, cash is going to decrease by $11,520. It says we paid it in cash. And we've got $11,520 increase in other assets. Why? Because we have prepaid rent being recorded. Prepaid rent represents future value to us, but it's being used up on an annual basis. So we have to adjust for this at the end of the year. Okay, now I've brought my scratch, scratch pad calculator back over again. And I'm going to show you how we came up with this $4,800 adjustment, which would be the reduction in prepaid rent by the end of the year. We paid $11,520 for an annual rent that we paid in advance. If you divide it by 12 months, it means we're using up $960 for every month. So at the end of every month, if we think about this, we've got an expense of $960, rent expense. So for five months, 960 times five, it's a total rent expense of $4,800. Now, we're going to reduce prepaid rent, which is another asset, by $4,800 since it has all expired by the end of the year. And we're going to increase rent expense, which reduces retained earnings. Okay, remember, revenues increase retained earnings, expenses reduce them. Dividends also reduce retained earnings. Okay, but dividends are not an expense. Now, just to review, 
Why are we doing these adjusting entries? Just to review, remember that we're following accrual accounting concepts and there are two major concepts of accrual accounting. We record revenues when they're earned and then we match the expenses to them. Now in the case of prepaid insurance and rent expense, there really isn't a direct relationship between revenues and those expenses. So instead, we have this indirect relationship that says, well, the revenues for the current year required various business expenses like insurance policy and office rent. And that's why we still have to adjust them. We, we can't treat those as a cash expense when they're incurred because that doesn't follow, follow accrual accounting. We want to know what period is that, does that expense cover and then match it correctly to revenues that were earned in that period. Okay, uh, hopefully you found this helpful.